Welcome to the Eastern Sword Golf Club, a charming nine-hole course that offers golfers of all abilities a worthy and enjoyable challenge. Located on the corner of Thompson and Worsley Roads, Bangholm, in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne, the Sword is a flat layout with alternate tees on each hole to provide a testing 18-hole round of golf. It is a spacious flat course elevated 4 to 6 metres above sea level, just under 5,000 metres in length, generously covered with trees and shrubs as well as four small lakes to add to the country atmosphere of the area. The small greens are lightly bunkered but are true and consistent throughout the seasons. An abundance of bird life adds to the quietness and serenity of the surroundings. The Eastern Sward along with Strong Hearts Farm Sanctuary enjoy a mutually beneficial experiment of housing injured, rescued animals. The benefit to the golf course is the reduction of time and effort dedicated to maintaining grassed areas which are not exclusively relevant to the golf course proper. The animals have a peaceful and quiet habitat with a variety of grasses to consume and aid their recovery. The vista provided as members enjoy their golf adds to the already serene surroundings. The club offers a variety of memberships with social clubs and corporate groups most welcome to enjoy a game of golf in our friendly atmosphere with barbecue area and bar open to all. Special thanks to Les Cargill for the drone footage. Hole 1 is a 124-meter par 3 and Hole 10 is a 140-meter par 3. A simple par 3 to begin with except for the small raised green sloping from back to front, a raised mound protects the entry and the three bunkers punish anything left or right. Go through the green and you can talk to the goats on the island while deciding whether to pitch or putt to save par. Hole 2 is a 459 meter par 5 and hole 11 is either a 420 meter or 460 meter par 5. With 240 meters to clear the water from the tee, a layup is the popular play here. A long iron or fairway wood to give you a shot from 100 to 150 meters is the next challenge. The green is one of the largest on the course, just watch the bunkers on either side. Best to avoid the tall trees all the way up the left side also. For the 11th, the hole can measure 460 or 420 meters. The front tee opens up the opportunity to go for it and try to clear the water. Depending on the wind, this can be a little tougher than it looks judging by the quantity of balls in the water. Hole 3 is a 173 meter par 3 and hole 12 is a 150 meter par 3. This is a long par 3 with water guarding the front and an uphill front to back sloping green so an extra club or two is the way to go here. Watch the pines to the right, it can be hard to get a line to the green from in these trees. Hole 4 is 450 meter par 5 and the hole 13 alternate tee is also a 450 meter par 5. A shortish par 5 which plays much longer than it should. 240 meters to the garden bed on the left and water down the right makes for a simple tee shot to the middle of the fairway. From here it gets tricky, a couple of hidden water hazards further down the right are ready to catch anyone straying in that direction. Down the left are the farm animals recovering from injury, but if you are that far left you're probably out of bounds. A bunker on the left of the green with steep banks right and back make this green very difficult to hit and stay. Hole 5 is a 164 meter par 3 and hole 14 is a 110 meter par 3. The third of the par 3s is no easy beat either. A tee shot over water and through a tight gap in the trees is what awaits at the fifth. A bunker on the left of the green catches more than it should and a back to front slope on the green ensures there are no easy putts past the hole. Hole 6 is a 341 meter par 4 and hole 15 is a 335 meter par 4. One of the easier holes on the course, as long as the wind isn't too strong in any direction other than from behind. 200 meters to the left side fairway bunker, about the same to the water on the right. With out of bounds all the way up the left, an accurate drive is needed to set yourself up for the approach to the green. Not too many problems if you miss the green as there is plenty of space all around it. Hole 7 is a 335 meter par 4 and hole 16 is a 360 meter par 4. 
Depending on the tee position, the seventh is a drive with a left to right fade to eliminate the dog leg. The drive for the 16th is considerably more difficult from the back tee. Again, you need to move your drive from left to right and avoid the tree line shoot. Once you are in the fairway it's up to you meet the challenge of the hardest rated hole on course. Hole 8 is a 182 meter par 3 and hole 17 is a 152 meter par 3. The toughest par 3 on the course with a postage stamp size, a severely sloping green from back to front with bunkers left and right. Most golfers try to hit it onto the front edge. An easy hole to run up a big score if you're not careful. Hole 9 is a 244 meter par 4 and hole 18 is a 268 meter par 4. Great little par 4 to finish with, water on the right or trees on the left can catch your tee shots. Then ever so slightly uphill second shot to an undulating green with two big bunkers waiting to catch you if you don't hit the right shot. One of the tougher greens to putt on, 